In this video, you will learn about the binding database. The binding database consists of named binding methods with integrated folding parameters that define how multiple folded signatures can be collected into a single assembly. IMP is shipped with four predefined binding methods. Perfect binding, with gathering and folding process turned on. Saddle stitcher, with collecting and folding process turned on. Section sewing, with all collecting, gathering, and folding process turned on. Cut and stack, with gathering process alone turned on. You can modify these predefined binding methods or add new ones as per your requirements. You can define the trim margins, lap margin, and its position, flush cut margins. These will be added in addition to the trim margins. In the Constraints tab, enter the minimum and maximum section depth, which is the thickness of each gathered collected signatures. Minimum and maximum block thickness, which is the total thickness of all signatures in a job or the spine of the job. Similarly, enter the collecting and gathering units of your collecting and gathering machine. In case of manual operations, enter the minimum and maximum number of signatures that can be processed for this binding method. It is important to give these inputs correctly for two reasons. The first one is that these inputs ensure that solutions suggested by IMP Auto Planning Engine are bindable and contain the most optimum signatures. The second is that IMP will raise suitable warning in the section pane based on these values, thus keeping the user sensitive to the binding requirements. Next is the size limits. Enter the minimum and maximum page size and cover size that can be handled by this binding machine process and also the maximum signature size that the folding machine can handle. The folding tab is where you define the folding machine parameters and template selection criteria. Enter the machine running cost, speed, and make ready time. IMP will use these to calculate folding costs. All the templates in the folding catalog are listed here. Now you can narrow down the template preferred for this binding method. Selecting all will consider all active folding templates in the catalog. Selecting symmetric templates, IMP will consider the symmetric folding templates in this active folding templates. You can also select the particular templates by name. Each grade or material will have a loud fold depth value entered in the configuration. There can be some leniency to the fold depth for some particular binding method. Here you can enter the fold depth value, so IMP will also consider the templates equaling this value. Binding method also defines the collation mark preferences to go along with. IMP can place collation marks in the spine gutter as well as in the jog gutter. Collation marks in the jog gutter come in handy when signatures are collected one inside another. IMP computes the look and position of the collation mark on each signature dynamically. You can simply set your collation mark preferences and leave the rest to IMP. So, when you select a binding method in the bound component properties dialog, you automatically select the collation mark settings for the job. You can change the settings properties at any time, and IMP will automatically update the collation marks on all signatures. You can also define one or more signature marks. These are text marks that will be placed automatically when processing the job by this binding method.